are these considered infrared 23? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. Kudos to law. Hey, what's good guys? This is Chris from wearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official wearTesters.com YouTube channel. The only sneaker channel here on YouTube where you come for the review and stay for the conversation. Today we don't have a review. This is a little bit something different. Normally I wouldn't even do this on the channel, but sneakers, especially nowadays, nowadays with the prices, prices are crazy. And then there's different avenues in which you could buy sneakers. I'm old school though. So like recently I had a sponsored Instagram post by eBay. Somebody had questioned something. I don't know. I don't understand what he was questioning really, but anytime you get sponsored by anything like there's always going to be people like trying to poke at you a little bit which i'm not saying he was doing but it kind of alluded to that and my whole thing was like i was like yo i've been using ebay since for since you've known me i've been using ebay since we would have to do money orders through the mail that's a long ass time ago this is way before paypal ebay came into play like right when i was leaving high school i had gotten the 2001 black and royals for retail on ebay back in 2001 and i sent a money order i thought that i was going to get scammed like just straight up like I thought I was gonna get scanned, but I got the shoes and everything. I was like, yo, this is crazy, eBay's legit. And if you know what to look for, cause I know that there's a lot of places like StockX. Some people confuse me for plugging them. I don't know why, I think it's cause like every other shoe tuber plugs them. We don't, I've never used StockX before. The other one is Goat, the Goat app. Goat app I have used once, but it was on a brand new pair of shoes, but I do like Goat. I was explaining this to my wife because there's lots of levels to it. There's lots of options and stuff like that. However, the problem with using a place like StockX or like goat is that they're a hub so like whoever you're buying from sends the product to them they inspect it and then they get it out to you so the process is a little bit longer so for somebody like me i know what i'm looking for so i know that if you're new to sneakers you know they seem awesome because they'll legit check your stuff everything so i think that th those services are great again this is not sponsored by anybody because i don't plug any of them i'm just saying this is all based off of my experiences but again i've been into sneakers for i don't know i'm old <laughs> it's been a long time. So I know exactly what I'm looking for. I bought fakes on eBay before on accident. And yes, it does suck when that happens. However, if you use PayPal, you're fully protected. So you just file a dispute, you're good to go. However, again, I just like to go on there and like search for deals. Sometimes I'm saving lots of things and she sees me and she's like, what are you doing? And I'm just like, don't worry about it, just looking. And other times I check out and she was asleep. So. I missed out on these and I've always been like keeping an eye on them, but I never wanted to pay over a certain price. These guys I paid $67 for and they're not in the greatest shape. A lot of people are just immediately going to turn off right now because low tops are not the jam for everybody. I remember seeing these in store and being like, oh man, the materials are actually kind of nice. They use like a nice leather on the overlay panels, the underlay panels, they're cheap synthetics, but they still look good and all that stuff. And again, like I love the colorway. I like infrared and all that stuff when it's done right. This is kind of the pinkish one, but it's all good. I paid $67 for these and and I mean, sh dude, that's a steal. They're a little dirty though, because they are used. And so I just wanted to talk about what I do to kind of like not restore them, because that back there is a real restore job. Like them is OG. I have just not the time to take them apart, fix them up, and then re glue them. But these guys, I could do it because these ones are a little bit more on the simple side, it just needs a cleaning. And the thing that I'm going to do with them is uh, I'm going to, which I already have done, I'm going to use this stuff that's called Antidote. These guys are really awesome. It's a sneaker fragrance stuff, but it's got antibacterial liquid in there and it smells good so it doesn't smell like 409 or bleach no, or something like that it I smells like it really for nice my runners. yes if you use this from the start every time you take off your shoes mostly for basketball but if you like take off your shoes you spray these when you're done and you just let them air dry then your shoes will rarely get funky which is really cool so this is antidote i will leave links for all this stuff in the description box so i use this already i also took out the insoles already and i'm not going to reuse those because that's nasty i don't care how many times you wash those that's gross dude so i did not reuse those however i just got these in. These are interesting. This is from a fellow YouTuber called Sneaker Gears. You can check him out on YouTube. He made these Velocity insoles. Now they're not exactly identical to Zoom Air, but what they are inside is pretty much Zoom Air. It's an air unit, tensile fibers, so it's super springy. They're uh, fairly thick as well. The only problem with them for me is the, the overall shape. They don't fit in all of my basketball shoes. So when I stuck these in my full length Zoom Air less Kobe 4 Pro Tros, while it did give them full length Zoom feeling, I also could barely put my foot in the shoe because it lifted it up just a little bit too much. So what they are great for though is stuff like this, like retro. So if you wanted to use this for casual or basketball purposes, doesn't really matter. You can grab these, stick them in your shoes as long as they fit and all that stuff and, and boom, you got full length cushion, air cushion on top of that. Not dense air, but like bouncy air. These things are dope. That's what these are. Again, these are brand new. So if you wanted to check them out, you can. I'll leave a link in the description box. Again, not sponsored. He 
just was like, hey, you want to check these out? I made these. Cool. I did. Boom. There you go. These actually have fabric on them. So you can, again, use them as insoles. Really dope stuff. So took out the insoles and these, put these in. Hella comfortable now. And sixes are bricks. Just saying. Another thing that I like to do is take out the laces. I've already done that on one shoe. I wash those by hand. I'll either use a tiny bit of uh, detergent or I will use a little bit of dish soap. Either one. If they're white laces and you want to get them like stark white, you can add a tiny bit of bleach to them and everything. Um, just make sure that you use gloves if you do that. But I just like wash them with my hands because you can like scrub them and everything and then I let them air dry and they normally come out like perfectly white. Then there's other stuff like this, this little string right there. And if stuff like that bothers you because it bothers me, you just cut it off real quick and that's all you got to do so you could do all that stuff yourself and take care of it the next thing that i like to do is stick a shoe tree in there and that just makes everything firm so what i'm about to do afterwards which is scrub going to not like fold and cave on you and stuff so you can get like a nice harder surface and then last but not least i'm going to use this stuff right here this i've already used before this is scuffed up there are little like scrubbing sneaker shaped pads essentially it's a mr clean magic eraser which are magic i love those i've been using those since they came out this one though they add a little scrubber on there i don't know if mr clean does that if they do cool whatever and then they also have this new thing they call this the cube i have not used this and i'm going to try it now and they also have this uh it's called soul lucian catchy real punny but this is their liquid soap again I haven't used it it's brand new they sent this a while ago and i just never got around to i don't i rarely clean my sneakers this is a time when i definitely want to clean them because i did not dirty these things so we're going to try this out see how it works so i'll give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison when we're done so let's go ahead and get started So that pretty much takes care of it for a light restore. This is not anything crazy. This is just if you wanted to get something for a good deal, whether it be for yourself or you want to flip it, this is actually a great way to make some extra cash. You clean them up. They don't look brand new, but they look a lot better, especially if you put in new insoles and do a little bit of extra work, like clean the laces and all that stuff, which I don't know if it's gonna be very noticeable, but I was able to do that and clean a lot of the bottoms. I could spend a lot more time on this. I'm going to wear them, so I'm not going to do that. But again, if you're trying to flip them or anything like that, you can always do that you can also sauce them if you wanted to unyellow the soles again i'm going to wear these so i really don't care about that stuff ebay is still just a great place to me as long as you know what you're looking for because a lot of people are focusing now on goat and stock x so i feel like ebay is probably the best place to go nowadays to really find some steals especially again if you know what you're looking for so this is more so tips and tricks for like newcomers obviously as old guys have already been accustomed to using ebay some people just don't want to be scammed they don't like dealing with the what ifs or the maybes so they go to stock x they go to go if that's you that's cool i don't care you know what i mean like you can do you and that pretty much takes care of it for these guys so if you are new to the scene and you wanted to either get a quick collection for cheap ebay is a great spot to do that and then again if you are able to just do simple fixes deodorize and clean the inside that's like the number one thing also a lot of people ask can you stick shoes in the washer machine you actually can't believe it or not uh, however i would not do it with anything like this with a polyurethane midsole because moisture really with that stuff so if it's a phylon midsole it's cool especially if it's a knitted shoe like your runners your epic reacts and performance review on those coming soon by the way but if you have shoes like that those slam them right into the washer man a fly knit shoe and they come out looking brand new those shoes i would do it anything with exposed cushion like this i would not and then if you do stick these in the washing machine to get them clean make sure that you place them in front of a fan to air dry do not stick them in the dryer for one that will also destroy the midsoles especially if it's polyurethane it also up the air unit if there is one whether it's embedded or not because when you put heat to air it expands and so you could pop your unit and then on top of that the shoes are put together with glue I and mean, that's how the upper is attached to the midsole if you put that inside of a dryer which has heat in it then you're going to loosen the glue up and you could just destroy the shoe altogether but you could do this yourself i actually want to wear these i think that these look dope i like that they're aged too because i don't have to worry about anything i just put them on I'm good to go let me know if you already do this this is not a new thing but if you're new to sneakers this might be new to you this is a great way to do something 
very simple. Get yourself started very easily. You can turn somebody else's trash into you know your own treasure and all that stuff. And if you miss out on something, you can find some gems over on eBay, believe it or not. So let me know what you guys think about this. What was your latest pickup and steal, whether it be from StockX, eBay, GOAT, whatever. What is your go-to source also? Maybe there's stuff that I'm like not considering. I know, I know that there's forums, Facebook groups. There's new apps too. I have like the commercials, like, like the guy's hanging off a cliff and he's like, I wanna sell my chair right now. Oh yeah. You know, like just- Let it go. Is that what it's called? Yes. Okay, so there's all kinds of places. Let me know what your go-to spot is. Actually, those apps might be great because you could probably get stuff for super cheap. Like dudes don't, don't really know what they have. Like a garage sale. Man, I used to love garage sales. If you were interested in anything, whether it be the antidote, the scuffed up, the velocity insoles, which a lot of you are probably gonna be most interested in because it's instant cushion, instant zoom air, without it being called zoom air. Check the description box. I'll have links for everything just in case you're interested. I'm gonna finish this shoe up now so I can like wear them later and call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps some of you guys out, especially if you're new here, not here to the channel, but just new to sneakers. Again, share your guys' thoughts, your opinions, your experiences, all that kind of good stuff. I'd love to hear from you. So until next time guys, have a good one. Can you teach me what sauce means? Oh, they call it sauce, like soul sauce. And you'll put the stuff on the clear soles or anything that's yellowed because all of this gets oxidized. Right. And just like our headlights, okay? So like, and that happens with any type of plastic or rubber. So this could turn yellow, this could turn yellow. A lot of times it's the glue, but sometimes it seeps in like with this stuff. When you sauce it, I don't know exactly what's in there because it's a mixture of all kinds of weird shit but you sauce it and then you either, some people let it sit in the sun because the sun activates whatever it is that that is. It's like a natural bleach. Basically, yeah. Or people use the fluorescent style lights, but like the daylight ones and it will unyellow things. The problem with it though, is that it will not corrode, but it does something weird to the rubber. Does so it like, eat it away? It doesn't eat it away necessarily, but what it will do is it will make it so that it loses its tack. So like if you're doing this to a shoe that you're just gonna wear casually, that's cool. If you're doing it to a shoe that you were gonna play in, you will lose traction like immediately. It'll like turn slick and all that stuff. So that's why I choose not to sauce. And I don't care about yellowing anyways. Like I think that the vintage look looks cool.